Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. Today I have my November, let's just push right past that, November Sips by Box. Let's get in here and see what I've got. of the Sips by Box is, while this is my November Sips by Box, and I'm running a little bit behind, Sips by is a tea subscription that curates your box for you. So it's not like what I'm showing you, if you had seen it in November, you could have gotten it, because they, when you sign up, ask you so many questions that what is in this box is curated just for me, just like yours would have been for you. Whether I like decaf or not decaf, fruits, florals, they ask you so many questions that what is in the box is generally exactly what you're gonna like in teas. Sip Spy is a $15 per month subscription. I will put my link below and that will get you $5 off your first box. So let's just open this right up and see what I did receive for November. Open it up. The very first thing we have on top is our November teas and it's made for Catherine because like I said, they've used my profile to go in and pick out a box of teas that they just know I'm gonna love. So let's see what I've got. Right on top, and I always start with this, is each month we receive this, and it's a pouch, and it is a reusable muslin pouch. So if you don't have a tea diffuser and you want to be ecologically friendly, you could just use these. But on the inside, we also get some non-bleached, tea bags and you just open it up, put your tea, because you could get loose teas in here unless you tell them you don't like loose teas. You put your tea right inside and it's just like making your own tea bag. I use them all the time. They are so handy. Even though I have tea diffusers, like I always say, if you use those, you can just throw it away when you're done. I know it's a little wasteful, but it's so easy. Okay, on the back of this paper where it said made for Catherine, I have all four of the teas that they've sent me because each month you receive four teas, four servings of each tea. This is where I also always say, I get more than that because most of the time you can reuse a tea bag more than once. We need to find me a tea really quickly. Oh, good, it is still steaming because I came up here and then I ended up tidying my room a little bit. So this water's been sitting here cooling just a little bit. Let's just dig right in on top and I'm gonna just do a random draw. I haven't put my glasses on yet. This is what I'm drinking today, proving that they know me so well that no matter what I pulled out of there, I would have liked it. And this is the Stash Spice Dragon Red Chai, and it is caffeine free. I do love the sound of that. That is what it looks like, and it says ingredients, cinnamon, rooibos, ginger root, and clove. And I have to tell you, that is everything I like in a tea. So we're gonna get this open and I'm going to get it steeping. And without even thinking to show it to you guys, I plopped it right down in my teacup, but it is a stash tea. And let me see, can I show you? Can you see a little bit? It's just a regular tea bag. And the beauty is if you're kind of new to teas, or even if you're not, Sip Spy gives us some information on how best to brew our teas. So this says Spice Dragon Red Chai Sip Spy Stash Tea, because the Sip Spy is whoever the brand is, and the brand on this one is Stash Tea. And it says one bag per eight ounces of water, 190 to 210 degrees Fahrenheit, steep three to five minutes. So 190 to 210 is pretty much right after you take it off boiling. It is caffeine free, yay. Rooibos is a South African herb, also known as red tea. It combines with clove, ginger root, and sweet cinnamon to create a unique, caffeine-free, sweet and spicy chai. That sounds so good. Oh, and while it's still steeping, it smells so good. It smells cinnamon and clove, I guess. It kind of smells like an apple pie. I know. Oh, it smells so good. I love teas. I don't know if you guys are watching, but I am doing over all my Insta. I was gonna try and do it every day, but it is just not working. But I'm doing a lot of the David's teas from the advent calendar and they taste so good. David's teas was one of my original favorite teas. Okay, reaching in next, we have these four. And it is, oh, by the way, I had four of these also. This is the OT's Berry Blend, naturally caffeine and gluten free. And that is what that looks like. And you can see from the other side, I hope that this shows. That is the tea, and can you see, I always point this out because I really think that it matters. See how big those tea leaves are? It's so pretty, and with a bigger tea leaf, you generally get more a, a more robust flavor. They're just really good. And this one says one sachet per eight ounces of water, 212 degrees, so that's another straight off boiling one. Steep six to 10 minutes. That's a longer steep than usual. It is hibiscus, currants, raisins, elderberries, raspberry, fruit, granulate, natural flavor, red currants, and black currants. This caffeine-free blend has flavor bursting with full-bodied forest fruits and blackberries. 
It is versatile and refreshing and can be enjoyed hot or cold. I do. You know, I love getting this in the summer too because I do love making a good iced tea. I opened it just a little bit so we could oh, smell it. And this smells like if I just had a fresh bowl of berries and well, that I mushed a little because you can smell the berry a lot. Oh, it smells so good. That is another one. It's like the exact opposite of this. This is like nighttime. It's all cinnamony and clovey. And this is morning, like berry, like, hello, wake up. It's morning time. You guys know, if you watch the channel, you have learned I love the teas. And then for my next two, I have loose teas. So the first one is Churchill's Fine Teas French Vanilla Black Tea. How good does that sound? And that is what the front of it looks like. And the back of it, Again, see how big and chunky the pieces are? So let's read about this. Would you rather see the label or the tea? Probably the label. French vanilla black tea sips by Churchill's Fine Teas. One teaspoon per eight ounces of water, 212 degrees, steep three to five minutes. So again, this is another one pretty much right off boiling. And even if you don't have a diffuser, you just take a teaspoon of this, put it in either this or one of the bags inside. Voila, tea. It is a Ceylon black tea, vanilla, jasmine, sunflower, and calendula. Medium caffeine, this rich and creamy vanilla tea is perfect for sipping straight or making a latte. Check your learn page for instructions on how to make a French vanilla tea latte. Interesting. So I guess the learn page is probably on the sip spy. I'll have to check that out. I'll try and let you know here if I could find it. But that sounds like I really need, I've never made lattes out of my teas. If you have, let me know below what you do. That sounds really good. But again, look how chunky and nice that is. My last tea is the Witchwood Tea House Empaths Tea. And it is an oolong, nettle, blueberry, lemon, mint, and dandelion tea. Ooh. Look at, that's the front, but look at the back, guys. It's like sealed, like an old-fashioned wax seal. That looks so nice. I think it's a drag. oh yeah, it's a dragon. That is so cool. These are really good teas this month. We'll open this and smell it in a minute. Oh, and then we'll circle back and smell the French vanilla. This is the Empaths Tea by the Witchwood Tea House. One to one and a half teaspoons for eight ounces of water, 212 degrees, steep three to five minutes. It is everything that I already told you that was in it, the oolong, nettle, blueberry, lemon, mint, and dandelion. And it is medium caffeine. This tea is specially formulated to help protect you from unwanted psychic influences, help you heal from overload, and help you rebound from emotional or mental fatigue. All right, when we open this one up, and it's again, you can see, I hope you guys can see, see how big and chunky it is in there? I love that. Oh, it smells nice. Really, I smell the mint a lot. It smells nice. I don't smell the blueberry. It smells really good though. This smells like it would make a fantastic, I love mint and teas. I think they are so refreshing. And if you happen to have a little congestion, which I'm not getting any colds this season because I'm not going outside, but I still have allergies and the mint I find to be so clearing. Yeah, that smells really good. Let's circle back really quickly and smell this French vanilla. I know it's probably gonna smell like French vanilla, but let's see how strong it is. Oh, this is really subtle. French vanilla, very, very subtle. It almost smells fruity, interestingly enough. Was there any fruit in this? It actually, I know, here I am going off script again, but if you had given me this to smell, I would not have said vanilla. It says jasmine and calendula are in it. Okay, then I'm gonna say that's what it is. Instead of fruity, it's more floral, but it smells really good. Don't get me wrong, but it's not very vanilla. -y. Those are my four teas out of my Sips by box this month. And like I said, I will get at least 16 servings out of it. I will probably get more like 32 servings out of it. And I have the Churchill's Fine Tea French Vanilla, which I think smells more floral. And I have the Empaths Tea from the Witchwood Tea House. And I think that it's leaning mostly on the mint. We have the Berry Blend, which is absolutely berry. This smells so delicious of berries. And then the one that we're making is the Stash Spice Dragon Red Chai. And I love the idea of this because it is a chai that is decaf. And that can be hard to find. And this has only been steeping. And I have been up here probably before I started the video. This probably sat here for 10 minutes, cooling down. And you know, sometimes cool teas don't diffuse as well, but I don't know if you guys can tell. See how dark it still got? It really took on a lot of color. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh, that's good. 
that's good. It's not as chai as a black tea would be when it's chai. But it still definitely tastes like chai and it tastes delicious. Yes. I hate when I start drinking up here because I never want to stop. I want to be like, excuse me guys, I'll be right back. I almost always have a drink off camera anyway, but this is the only time that you guys get to, well, no, it's not the only time because now I have that nice vino box and I drink wine when I unbox that one. Okay, those are my four teas. If you have any questions about this, let me know below. I'm happy to answer any questions that I can. I will put my code below. It will get you $5 off your first box. It's normally a $15 per month box. This was sent to me free for review if I did not say that in the beginning, but you will always get my full honest review. And thank you so much for coming by, guys. I hope you are having a fantastic holiday season, whatever your holiday is. I hope you are enjoying it, and I will see you again really soon. Take care, guys.